Hello my friends, my name is Miss Park and I'm going to be your speech teacher for today. Today we're going to learn about how to say the s, the s sound and z, the z sound. So if you are um, four and five years old and up, then this is the video for you. So just keep on watching and let's learn together. So first, we're going to play a listening game. So I want you to tell me if these two words sound the same or different. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. So, so, what do you think? Same or different? Uh-huh. Yeah, they are different, huh? One was so, and the other was so. You're right, they are different. Okay, let's try another one, okay? C and C. What do you think? Are they the different or the same? Yeah, they are different, huh? So if you can hear the difference, good job. So if you cannot, my friends, the difference was that for the s sound, did you notice? Look at my s sound. Is my tongue coming out? No, it is not coming out. But for the th sound, th, it's coming out a lot, huh? So here is lesson number one. For the s and z sound, the tongue should not be coming out, okay? So I want you to imagine that your tongue was like a snake. Now I'm gonna draw a snake here. I'm not really a good drawer, so forgive me. But here is my snake. Now, we don't want the snake to come slithering around and scaring everyone, right? So we want to keep him in the cage. Inside, and we don't want to let him get out. So like that, our tongue is kind of like the snake. And we don't want our tongue to come out. We want to keep him behind the cage, which would be our teeth in this case. And that is the right way to say the s sound, okay? So for some of my friends, um, that might be a little tricky, huh? So I want to show you another way. You can magically turn the letter T like this, the t, -t, -t sound, into the letter S. Now, who here believes it? Raise your hand if you can believe that you can do this magic trick. Well, let me show you. And it goes like this. Let's pretend that I have here the ladder of the slide. T -t 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 -t. Here it is, the slide. And at the very, very top of my slide, I want to explode it and hold it out as long as I can. And then by the time you slide down, it will turn into the S sound. So let me show you. T -t 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 Did you hear that? Did you hear how the T magically became the S sound? Now, do you want to try it with me? Let me let me say it one more time, okay? Listen carefully. T -t 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 -t. Yeah, so I did that by exploding the T right when I get to the top of the slide, okay? So now I want you to try and make sure that snake stays behind the cage, okay? Are you ready? Very good. Try one more time. And explode. Very good, my friends. I'll link it down in the description box. So make sure you look um, if you want this for yourself. But here we go. Every letter makes the sound S says. I want you to try too with me this time, okay? Every letter makes the sound S S. Very, very good. That was such a good snake sound. Okay, now I think we're ready for the next step. Ready? 
sa 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 say 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 si 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 so 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 su 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 sa say si so su sa say si so su you try You got it, my friend. So here's the thing. We practiced this sound just now, and we're doing a very, very good job. Now I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to get your hand and put it on your throat, very gently, no squeezing, okay? And we're going to say this sound together, and I want you to figure out if you can feel anything in your throat any kind of motor or buzzing or any movement, okay? Let's try. Hmm, did you feel anything? Let's try it again. No, I didn't feel anything. How about you? If you didn't feel anything, that's a good thing because you did it right, that means, okay? So when we don't feel anything in our throat, that means that our voices are off, yeah? And our motors are off. <coughs> okay, so now, S, letter S and letter Z, they are friends, okay? I'm just gonna draw them holding hands because they're friends. And they like to be together. And what I mean by that is that the way that you say the S sound is exactly how you want to say the Z sound, okay? The only difference, the only difference is that your voice just has to turn on, okay? So how do we say this S sound? Hmm, well, our tongue or our snake was behind our top two teeth, right? Because it wants to stay in the cage and we just hold it out because it's a very long sound and our voices are off, right? Now, for the Z, we do it the Z same exact way, like this. Zzz. But this time, get your hands and put it on your throat and you should feel a little bit of buzzing, okay? Zzz. Whoa, I felt the buzzing. Did you? Try it. Zzz. Right? So, it should be pretty easy if you can say the S sound, then that means you can say the Z sound too. Now, I think we're ready to practice some words. So here we go. All right, and I'm very, very, very close to you so that you can see my mouth better. I tried to put a little bit of color on my lips too so you can focus right here. And watch me and try it yourself. Snake. Snake, see, see, soon, soon, sun, sun, say, say, bus, bus, dress, dress, yes, yes. Miss, miss, house, house, sweet, sweet, song, song, so, so, soup, soup, sock, sock, sock. Soccer ball, soccer ball, sand witch, sand witch, blocks, blocks, starfish, starfish, seal, seal, zebra, zebra, zero, zero. Zoo, zoo, zucchini, zucchini, zap, zap, 
zombie, zombie, zigzag, zigzag, zipper, zipper, pizza, pizza, rose, rose, puzzle, puzzle, shoes, shoes, busy, busy, was, was, music, music. All right, my little chickadees, well, you learned how to say the S and the Z sound today, and you all did such an awesome job, so please give yourself pats on the back for me, round of applause, and now that you heard these words, um, I want you to practice it in sentences too. You can use the worksheet I linked down below in the description box. Ask your parents to print it out for you so you can practice more at home, okay? Now it's very important that you practice, practice, practice. And if you can do it in front of a mirror, that's all the more better so that you can see if that tongue is in your mouth. I have one last bonus tip um, for the parents who are watching this, make sure that you watch over your kiddo when they are doing this just for a safety risk slash hazard. So what you want to do is grab um, a clear glass of water and a straw and basically what you're going to do is place the straw behind the top two teeth like that and then have your tongue tip reach up to meet it and then close and then blow air like that oh my goodness that got really messy um let me show you one more time um to get a closer look so again straw behind the top two teeth have your tongue tip meet it close your mouth and blow air forward that's the main point um, of this exercise is that the airflow is going forward And you should see bubbles like this. If you do um, see these bubbles, it means you're doing it correct because a lot of the times with um, a lot of my students who have a lisp, I notice that they have something called a lateral lisp, which is when the airflow is leaking out towards the sides of the mouth when it should be directed forward. So this is a really great way to teach them um, the correct way to say the S and the Z sound. And also, a lot of the times, the reason why these errors are continuously occurring is because that, um, you know, their tongue resting spot is not even in the correct place. And I think that's the first thing that I would work on with your child is that um, at rest, when you're watching TV, when you are sleeping, when you are, you know, working, when your kid is doing homework, the tongue tip should always, always be resting on the alveolar ridge, which is the bumpy little portion um, behind the top two teeth. And that's how it is. And because I think when younger children, they're weaning off of breast milk or bottles, they have that open mouth posture and the tongue is forward. Um, I think that's the reason why a lot of these kids have a hard time with the, um, these two sounds. So that's the first thing that I would work on. A second thing would be the auditory discrimination of whether or not they hear the difference between the th and the s. Because more often than not, if they can't even hear the difference, then, you know, it's, I can say s, -s, -s till I'm blue in the face and they might not really, um, grasp the concept. So those are my top two tips um if this helped you i know that you know you might not even be a kid watching this maybe you're an adult and you're still struggling um, with a lisp um, please let me know if these strategies worked for you um, if not um, i would love to know because maybe i can you know get creative and come up with another idea and if it did, still let me know in the comments because I always love to hear a success story. If you're still here at the very end of the video, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. 
I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately and I honestly don't know where you guys are coming from and how you found my video but regardless I really appreciate it and I'm so grateful um, I hope I can you know keep churning out these videos and that they're actually helpful for you and your family or loved ones or whoever um, but yeah this is the end of the video here um, if you have any suggestions please let me know down below and until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye!